everybody for coming out here today to foreclose on Wells Fargo CEO John Stump. Yeah. I've been in a loan modification program with Wells Fargo for an entire year. We've been calling him and calling him and calling him and emailing him and emailing him and emailing him to demand a fair deal for our neighbors so they can stay in their homes. Yeah! I redid paperwork at least five times, five complete paperwork cycles. In the middle of this last cycle, without any notice whatsoever, they sold my house on February the 6th. He collected $17 million in compensation in 2010. His company, Wells Fargo, has gotten $43 billion in taxpayer money. I only found out because people started coming up the front steps telling me that the house was going to be sold at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So because he hasn't returned any of our calls and our emails, we thought it was time to pay him a visit. Four days later, somebody that says they represent Wells Fargo comes to make me an offer to leave the house and says that the house was not sold at auction and that the, now, the bank owned it and he was there to sell the house. So we're going to be here delivering him a foreclosure notice right. to give him a taste of his own medicine. And then three days later after that, somebody else drops a note that says that they bought the house at auction and hands me a three-day notice. So nobody knows what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. The notice of default. Make Where are you people going? It's the money. These are wrong. Affirmative action. Thank you. We really appreciate it. We're not violence or anything like that, okay? We just want to deliver them. But we would like to speak to Mr. Stump. Okay. Okay. So you tell us where we might be able to find him. Would you please tell them that we're here because we're losing our home? Yes, sir. Okay, and thank you so much. What you do is talk to the people whose policies he's affecting. Okay. Let's go away! That's for you, Mr. Stump. I hope you can hear it. I can't afford my mortgage now. I regained my employment and my work, and I know that if anybody would just complete the loan modification, I'd be able to keep in my house, stay in my house. Instead, I don't even now know who owns my house and whether it's a scam or anything. It's just total lack of respect.